Catherine from Vintage Frills. Um, on my blog, I often share my hauls that I've got from car boot sales and vintage fairs. And this time I thought I'd do it a little bit differently and do a little video to show you what I've picked up. This morning I went to Wimbledon car boot sale, which is on Plough Lane. Um, it's one of my favourite car boot sales for getting vintage things. Um, it's very cheap. It's only a pound to get in as well, which is quite good for buying vintage. And the majority of the stores are selling antiques and vintage clothes, and the prices are very good. Um, this time I got really lucky. I found some great things. In total, I only spent £48, which is really good for what I got. So um, I'll just show you the things I picked up. First of all, this really, really cute 1940s sweater. Lovely colour, nice and summery. It's really light. Um, it's got this beautiful neck trim, as you can see, and some pearl buttons at the back. So I was really, really happy with that. And it's in perfect condition. Just give it a really quick clean and then keep it ready to wear. <coughs> um, the next thing I got was this 70s maxi dress. Can't see the whole thing. Um, but yes, it's got a um, Victorian style collar. Um, like gathered details at the front. It's nice and long. <clears throat> it's got this little detail at the bottom. So lovely in 70s, possibly 60s. It's got a metal zip, which is all perfect. And that was £3, so really, really happy with that one. Um, the next thing I got, there was a stall that had these 1960s long line bras from Marks and Spencers. These are really, really cute. Um, very popular at the moment with people wearing vintage clothes. It's nice to have the actual underwear underneath that people would have worn with it. Um, it tends to make it fit better as well. Um, there's also this one, which is a sort of nude natural colour. Very pleased with that. And then my absolute favourite, because it has such a 60s print on it, and you just don't get this sort of thing anymore. All in absolutely perfect condition. And with those, I bought these. 1960 stockings in their original packaging and I just love the print on the packaging and I got all of those for five pounds so the three long line bras and the stockings for five pounds so couldn't be better um also there's my favorite stall holder who I see a lot there and she sells the most amazing vintage things a couple of weeks ago I got a 40s dress from her um a 50s dress and a 60s dress for 25 pounds all in perfect condition, so I was so pleased with that. And they all fit me, which I was really pleased with because that hardly ever happened. So from her, I bought this lovely 40s handbag. All leather, needs a bit of a polish, but other than that, perfect. It's got this really, really pretty detailing here. Lovely clasp. All working fine. And inside, little pocket. I was really, really happy with that. That was £8, although because I bought a few things in a bundle, she took some money off for me. Um, next thing, this really, really beautiful 1960s dress. Lovely detailing on it. Metal zip, all working fine. And this is just absolutely lovely. It probably doesn't even need cleaning. It's absolutely perfect. So I was really, really pleased with that. And... Then this really cute crimpoline dress, early 1960s, lovely sort of wiggle style, beautiful print, again with a metal zip, all perfect. And I'm so happy with this, there isn't any work to be done on it, which is unusual when you buy vintage in car boots. Often there's vintage sellers who sell their rejected bits on um, at car boots because they're unsellable because they need cleaning or dry cleaning or sewing or they've got buttons missing so it's quite rare to find things that don't need anything doing to them um, so I was quite lucky there and uh, lastly I also bought this from her this is probably my favourite from the day it's another 60s dress again with metal zip a nice thick cotton this one and I just absolutely adore this cut out detail Absolutely beautiful. Um, again, I think this one's going to fit me. I've not tried them on yet, um, so I'm delighted with that one. So, yeah, I definitely recommend that car boot sale. I'm not one of these vintage buyers who keeps their secrets. Like, um, it's all out there for everybody. So I'm not going to um, not tell you where I got it from. Um, so if you wanted to go to that car boot sale, it does run on Saturdays, Sundays and Wednesdays. 
Wednesday's the best day to go. Firstly, because you don't have to get there at the crack of dawn. It opens at 10.30. It's a pound to get in. Um, I would recommend getting there early because most of the people who go to this one are buyers, given that it's midweek. Um, but it's absolutely fantastic for antiquarian books, vintage clothes, furniture, antiques. Uh, as I said, the majority of the stalls are t selling old things. There's a lot of house clearance companies who go there. Um, so I definitely recommend it. If you, um, if you like what you've seen today, please check out my blog. It's www.vintagefrills.wordpress.com. Post all the details below. And please subscribe because um, if this one's popular, I will do some more videos. Thank you for watching.